Hi, there's lots of announcements, so I'm going to try to go quickly. Sixth graders, first of all, you get a free dress tomorrow. Don't miss it. Thursday, the day before we go on spring break, the 14th is a free dress for sixth graders. This is a fit -a -thon. You were the biggest money raiser grade level, so you get it. And then everybody, thanks for coming to meetings today on Tuesday at lunch, and then we're going to have another one Thursday at lunch if you want to have some question and answer about why the dress code is the way it is and the proposed changes to the dress code. That'll happen in room 113 at lunch after 15 minutes of lunch on Thursday. Um, and looking forward to more free dress days as we finish out this year. Um, spring break's up, and then 8th grade camp, the day that 8th graders return, they go off on a bus, um, but a third of them are sticking around to do fun things here on campus too. Um, and then we head into May, which is state testing month, and it's going to be very calm. I have a slide to explain sort of what it, it will look like. But May 6th is a due date for applications. This is really, really advanced notice. Applications for anybody who wants to be a student leader at a Popsicle Social happening on the 15th of May. That's a Sunday. Or um, Beach Day happening on the 3rd of June. That's a Friday. So applications are there. Um, so dress code feedback, room 113, question and answer with your principal um, tomorrow. And then free dress day for sixth graders. Um, also on Thursday, Ms. Rosas is um, hosting or a part of putting together a youth summit, youth session for social justice. So if you are interested, talk to Ms. Rosas. There's more information on um parent square and I hope also in the school announcements but this is cool it is April 14th 5 to 6 30 this is a great way to kick off spring break um, and then applications for both popsicle social and beach day are due May 6th we'll talk about it more next week so testing month at IDA um, it it is laid out very calmly the very first week of May and this so this is the week after eighth graders are all back from camp the very first week of May is um, ELA tests, so the English language tests in lit comp classes. So it's just going to be in your lit comp classes. Um, and then the next week in your social science classes, you're going to get more time. Our students do very well on these tests because the curriculum really supports you. The way that we have discussions, the way you do writing and rewriting, it supports you doing well. So we make sure that you have all the time that you need. We have lots of makeup time prepared for you. The math test will start in week three of May. And then in week four, there will be a whole class, a different class set up for eighth grade. It'll be this, um, they're taking the science test, but the whole two weeks to do the test, um, ELA and math. And then thank you for our PE teachers who are already doing the physical fitness test. And, and there's also science tests for eighth graders. Middle school is the most tested of all grade levels. And so we take it easy and we have lots and lots of free dress prizes. Um, free dress days, including like we're going to have cozy dress day at the start of it all to kick us off. So that's it for this week. And um, I know that you're all heading into spring break. Stay, stay safe and healthy and have so much fun at spring break. Bye, everybody.